Hello my friends, this is Dr. Diana as patient and I am pretty ill. Today we'll be chatting about Lloyd's Dietz Syndrome, a connective tissue disorder that's easy to overlook but it shouldn't be. It was discovered by Belgian physician Bart Lloyds, who must keep a very low social profile, I couldn't find his picture on Google, and Dr. Hal Dietz, whom everyone loves. Here he is. Dr. Dietz is making tremendous progress with vascular EDS and our entire family has met with him because we had so many signs of Lloyd's Dietz syndrome. I wanted us to see the man to rule it out. Now, Lloyd's Dietz syndrome is an autosomal dominant disorder. It's not unlike Marfan syndrome, but with a little twist. Now, in Marfan syndrome, everyone worries about rupture of the aortic root or of the aorta, and they watch the size of their aortic roots very carefully. Ditto with Lloyd's Dietz, but the aorta can rupture at a smaller size, so surgery needs to be done much earlier than with Marfan's if surgery is called for. Now, fortunately, there is a genetic test to have the syndrome ruled in or out. Blood tests will look for a TGF beta R1 and R2 transforming growth factor. But first, clinical examination must reveal some of its characteristics. What are they, you ask? Well, the look kind of involves what we have. We call it marfanoid habitus. It's a tall, lean profile with long fingers, long arms, pectus, excavatum, where it looks like the, the chest is indented, if you will, or it could be protruded a little bit. We see joint laxity, easy bruising, abnormal scars, you know, like everybody else. Huh? But there is more grasshopper. Patients with Lloyd's Deep may have had a club foot. They tend to have widely spaced eyes, a cleft palate, or bifid uvula. The little thingy in the back of the throat is actually double, and that was one thing that brought us to Dr. Dietz, actually. Um, patients may have duralectasia, scoliosis, congenital heart problems, translucent velvety skin, Chiari malformations, and as I've mentioned, aortic and our arterial aneurysms and our dissections with tortuosity of the arteries. Now at NIH, they're using those Zartan to slow or halt the formation of aortic aneurysms in Marfan's and Lloyd's Dietz syndrome. Lozartan is used to treat high blood pressure. It modifies the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. That is to say, it regulates our fluid balance and can be used for heart failure and kidney failure. Lozartan is an angiotensin II receptor antagonist, so it blocks TGF beta. How great is that? Now, if you are a control freak like me, and if you want to track your aortic root size or that of a loved one, you can find the nomograms at marfan.org. These charts are used to detect aortic dilation. You'll need to be able to calculate a body surface area and the size of the sinus of Alsalva. You get that from the echoes. Now, we are all human, so mistakes can be made. One friend of mine, they saw an error on his echo of an entire centimeter. He nearly had a heart attack when he saw his echo. So talk to your geneticist if you suspect you may have Lloyd's Dietz syndrome. And consider going straight to the man, Dr. Hal Dietz, as we did. I thank him and all of the researchers working to help us. Together, we're going to change our world, one brain cell at a time. Channel hugs to you all.